So I'm a 75 year old gentleman. So complaining, I have some chest pain, and it's getting more frequent now. And especially bothered when I go to walk with my dog in the uphill. And my expectation is, what is going on? Is there any any heart attack I have? And I am my ideas is that is there anything that the doctor can do? An expectation they're giving me some tablets and specialist clinic. Okay. So from what you're telling me. This is a condition called angina. Is this something that you've heard of? I haven't heard, but I heard of the chest pain and people okay. died before with the chest pain. It's a very okay. serious condition. So it's a common condition and it's treatable, mm. which is important. So your heart's a muscular pump and as it beats, it pushes the blood around your body. But just like any muscle, it needs its own blood supply. And you may have heard of it, the little vessels that uh, take the blood to your heart are called coronary arteries. Oh, okay. And what can happen over time, particularly if you've got high cholesterol or smoke, you get thickening. Oh, okay. These little fatty cholesterol deposits that stop the blood flowing so easily. Okay, when you're sitting, but the minute you start working hard, the heart is working hard, the blood can't keep up, you then get the muscle cramp. Yeah, okay. And that's what angina is so that you feel in your chest, cramp to your neck. So, what can we do about it? There are some things we really need to do today. Because we know that if we do nothing, you are at risk, as you said, of having a proper full blown heart attack, which is serious. And also, of course, it's probably got problems with you getting, walking the dog, getting the newspaper. So first thing is that I give you an aspirin, 75 milligrams a day. It's a very low dose, so usually well tolerated. But if it gave you indigestion, you need to come and see me and let me know. And that makes the blood more slippy. And as a result of which, you're less likely to get little clots that fire off to cause heart attacks. And that's something we start today. The other thing that we can do is give you a spray. And this is something that you use when you get angina. Basically, it's two squirts under your tongue, just there. Oh, okay. And what it does is it causes the artery to open up and the blood flow to improve and switches off the angina. But because it causes the arteries to open up, it can give you a bit of a headache, flushing, can feel it, make you feel like headed, so it's best off if you can sit down before you use it. Now, from a safety point of view, it's important to say if you get the angina, use your two puffs of your spray, wait five minutes. If it hasn't gone, another two puffs. If you've got to ten minutes, it's time to ring 999, because you might be actually in the very early stages of a heart attack. The sooner you do, you get treated, the sooner and better you get. Is it serious then? It can be, yeah, and that's why it's so important to ring after 10 minutes of chest pain. So, I'm going to give you the aspirin, okay, and I'm going to uh, give you the spray, the natural lingual spray. I'm going to get you to see our nurse to do some blood tests, to look for anemia, check your thyroid, kidneys, liver, screen you for diabetes and check your cholesterol level. We're going to be looking at your liver because there is a tablet that we can give you called a statin that stops or reduces the flaring up of the arteries. There are other tablets that we can use that dilate up uh, or widen the pipes okay, that you take on a regular basis that prevent angina. Or tablets that slow the rate of the heart so it's not working so hard and again prevents angina. But these are things I'd like to do once we've got all these results when you come back and see me in a week's time. The nurse will also do a heart tracing to make sure there's no evidence of heart damage. The, the ECG, you mean? The ECG, yeah, okay. absolutely. Done a lot of talking there. Is there anything you want me to just go back over? It's, it's okay, so uh, if there any problem, then I'll call the 999 after two puffs of mm -hmm. the inhaler. Yeah. Two puffs of the five minutes, two puffs, yeah, yeah. Okay. absolutely. Thank you very much. Thank you.